My next guest is a student at Columbia University who runs one of New York's hottest restaurants, which is his dorm room. Please welcome Jonah Ryder. <laughs> This is a this is a little bit of an unusual story uh, to Indeed. get out. So let me just let's, let me just recap it here. See if I got it all right. You are a student at Columbia. What are you studying? I study sociology and economics. Okay. And how old of a human are you? I'm 21. 21 years yeah. old. Okay. And you have a restaurant called Pith. Indeed. P I T H. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pith. And it you run it out of your dorm room. Yeah. Okay. And this is this is your dorm. That's your kitchen, right there. Okay. That's your kitchen. kitchen. And you produce, <laughs> you know, you produce dishes like this for your guests. This is uh, carrot slices against fennel, peppercorn, and lemon. Hashtag dank, hashtag food. Yes, yeah. Okay. I'm all about hashtag dank. That's, you know. Hashtag dank. That's okay. My um, dank. How did this start? So, I don't know. I've been cooking for a long time um, as an enjoyable improvisational act, and I think. I, w I did it a lot more once I got off the meal plan, which was, you know. No more Salisbury uh, steak for you? Yeah, okay. but um, I've been, I was cooking a lot and mostly sharing meals with my friends and roommates. And they were like, yo, you should um, let other people sign up for this. Um, and they did. I made an online sign up sheet. And right now, people, there are yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone like nuts. over a thousand <laughs> people. Are on your waiting list to eat dinner in your dorm room. Yeah, yeah. And those are those are a thousand parties of four. What? <laughs> so there are a thousand reservations yeah. waiting to eat your dorm room. Which is like a lot of years of doing this. So, so. <laughs> what is it? it is it is what um does the school think of this? They have been less than pleased. Um, <laughs> but you know, there's a movie in this about the rebellious young student chef. And the RA who's colluding with the president to try to shut you down. Yeah, I hope. Okay. I'd be down to make that would be awesome. But then it turns out that the president's wife wants a reservation at your restaurant, <laughs> and it saves the restaurant. No, it's funny. Like Columbia's uh, official magazine hit me up to write an article about it, and then after expressing some of my sentiments about the university and, and my relationship, they were like, "Yeah, we'll hold the article for a little bit." Um, so well, you understand you brought something uh, yeah, here. What, so, do, what do we have? Well, I would have loved you to, for you to come, but the hey, list is I'll so make long. Me I couldn't in one. good I'll, conscience. I'll come. You know, I'll come. Let you you celebrities, while, while you're preparing, yeah, like, yeah, go yeah, ahead yeah. and don't let me stop well, you. So yeah, so I wanted to bring you some leftovers you. because, um, <laughs> you know, that's what you get. <laughs> Um, I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I get. You know, I have a flight to make. I have a flight to make. Yes, yeah. I know. And since okay. it's, you know, oh, that's very nice. End, so, okay. So this is the first course. No. Okay. <laughs> um, it's very light. Yeah, Do no, celebrities right. ever like like try to pull strings to get like a reservation? Like you get a call from an assistant saying, um, "I have Kelly Ripa on the way to you." Um, no. Would that work out? I wish. That would be fun. That would be real fun. That would be real fun. I did a pop up in L.A. recently that Reggie Watts came to. Uh -huh. And that was kind of that's a cool, cool guest. Cool. So, yo, so what I so brought what is for you. So what is this? That is, looks like a uh, phyllo. Yeah, it's a little phyllo spanakopita kind of dessert um, that's mm -hmm. filled with uh, honey that's infused with black truffle. What? Yeah. And then what you're going to eat with it is a little sorbet that I made um, from pear nectar, from like pure pears. Pear nectar sorbet? I just yeah. got to chill. I just got to chill. <laughs> I love watching somebody who knows what they're doing, like who really passionate about what they're doing. What do you want to do after you graduate? Oh, you want to like open a restaurant or something? I'd really like to do something like open up a venue or, yeah, seriously. There you go. Yeah. And then wait, you can't dig in I'm just I'm not yet. digging in. No, I'm I helping. I got to a little bit of this lime zest on top. <laughs> Because you know I'm prepared. I know you got to. You got to. <laughs> but, all right. Um, all right. But yeah, now, it would be really cool to open up a space where art and food and um, yeah. music could all intersect. Please, please. Okay. Um, and do I do it together? Oh separately? yeah, definitely. Because otherwise, okay, let's get a little bit I'm of not this. Not eating very neatly. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I wouldn't recommend you open a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> not supposed uh, to yell at the customers. Hold on. That is fantastic. Yeah. That is so delicious. Wow. Thank you. Unexpected. Now, Thanks. Do, <laughs> do students ever show up and say, I have been 
um, uh, with some friends, partying in a particular way, would you make us something to eat right now? <laughs> I will say that I have a special menu coming up for April 20th, but, you know, um, but, Good luck getting a reservation. But no, um, it's, you know, all sorts of people come through. Oh. And a lot of not students as well, actually. So that's been kind of fun to have this be a nexus of all different types of people from New York. Well, it's fantastic. Congratulations on yeah, such thank an amazing, you so much. unusual way to bring people together. We're Jonah, lovely to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Check out Jonah on Instagram at at PithNYC. Jonah Ryder, everybody.